my hotline. Ah, uh, I'll get it for you, Chief. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And this time around, we're going to talk about some Wall Street Journal stuff here. Uh, some technology and about Apple. Apple pulls walkie talkie app after a glitch creates eavesdropping vulnerability. So <laughs> apparently there was an app for the Apple Watch uh that had a security flaw potentially letting users listen in on iphone calls huh <laughs> isn't this interesting this is why i don't have apple anyway apple incorporated has disabled the walkie talkie app on apple watches after finding a security flaw that could allow a person to listen in on someone else's iPhone conversation without consent. The second eavesdropping related glitch the company has moved to address in recent months as scrutiny of tech giants intensifies. Doesn't that just make you feel comfortable with your iPhone knowing that all is all is well in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I have a Samsung Note 8. I love my Note 8. You can see I've got this little stylus thing that comes out here just like this. And I can sit there and I can take notes. I use it to, I like write down notes as far as like what I need to get from the grocery store. And then I kind of like go in there and like scratch it out. Although I can also hit the erase thing and erase it if I want to. I use it to take, I, I, I use this stylus like almost all the time, uh, more than any other feat. Well, I use the camera. I use the camera too, but um, yeah, <laughs> I love my Note Eight. I, 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 I would not take an Apple if you even paid me for it. I wouldn't want one. <clears throat> anyway. Um, Apple didn't disclose the nature of the vulnerability, but said that it temporarily disabled the app while it works to fix the issue. The company said it isn't aware of any instance where a user is harmed by the glitch. Oh, well, yeah, you know, if you eavesdrop on something, you know, someone, it's not like you're hurting them. <laughs> it's just that your privacy is, you know, being violated. You're not actually being physically hurt or anything. Oh. Uh. Um, anyway, company said it isn't isn't aware of it, which it said requires specific conditions and sequences, et cetera, et cetera. The company said it learned of the problem through an online portal where customers can report issues with Apple products. The Walkie Talkie app, which Apple implemented in its watches through the Watch OS 5 operating system, allows two users to send each other audio using a push to talk button. Well, that seems to me like something you could probably do with a, uh, with a regular smartphone. I mean, I haven't looked, but I'm sure there's a walkie-talkie app or something. Um, we apologize to our customers for the inconvenience and will restore the functionality as soon as possible. Yeah, well, you know how that goes. Um, big technology companies are facing heightened scrutiny of their data privacy practices and their market power, with representatives from firms, including Apple, set to testify at antitrust hearings next week in Washington, D.C. Uh, this news article is from July 11th, so we should probably be hearing more about this uh, soon. Uh, Apple said in June that it would add new privacy features to the iPhone with the release of iOS 13 this fall including a tool allowing us users to sign in to iPhone apps without revealing personal information, such as an email address. It will also introduce a feature designed to make it easier for consumers to see how apps are tracking their location. Um, January, uh, there was a bug that allowed a user calling another person via the FaceTime app to listen in on conversations happening on the other end, even if the user hasn't accepted the call. 
Uh, it required several steps, but the glitch could have been used to eavesdrop on rooms with unattended devices. My goodness. My goodness. While Apple eventually provided a software fix for the issue, the New York Attorney General's office opened an investigation uh, focusing on Apple's failures to warn customers about the glitch. Uh, and then Apple later apologized. <laughs> this is... This is just bad. Um, with the with the way Apple does things, why would you want to get anything from them? I mean, it it's just not doesn't seem like the same company anymore. Since Steve Jobs has passed away, it's I don't know, man. This this company is kind of reminding me like of like the Walt Disney. You know, it's like Disney's become like this evil corporation, um, you know, with with a whole bunch of uh, left liberal crap. And my 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 goodness, man, this this thing with Apple almost seems the same way. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just I don't like apples. Why? Because if I have a PC uh, or a smartphone, I like to be able to do what I want on it. I don't want Apple to tell me what I can and can't have on my phone. That's why I have an Android. That is why I have a PC compatible IBM. <laughs> not They don't call them IBM compatibles, but you know what I mean. I have a PC computer. I can build it up the way I want, put in the stuff I want, take the stuff out if I want, upgrade it any old way I want to. I like having flexibility. Apple doesn't give you that flexibility, not from what I've seen. And I certainly don't want an Apple uh, computer that looks like a cheese grater. <laughs> anyway, uh, have you heard about this uh, stuff? Um, have you been victimized by this whole Apple um, uh, <laughs> privacy issue? Uh, do you know someone that's been affected by it? Uh, are you throwing out your iPhone and switching over to uh, an Android or, you know, maybe you're getting uh, a Google phone or something? I don't know. Or maybe you're still on Windows. Maybe you're still on the, the Windows phone. Or uh, maybe you just decided to get one of those dumb phones and say, screw the smartphones. I'll just stick with a regular phone. I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, consider uh, subscribing because I do um, videos on all kinds of different things. It's not just tech. I do news and uh, movies and some personal things, just, you know, things that I find interesting. Uh, so this channel is not fixed on one particular thing. It does a whole lot of different things. I got music videos, I've got gaming videos, um, and I'm a flight simulator enthusiast. So if you like flight simulator, I got plenty of stuff for that too. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you on another rambling video.